Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in today's video, we've got a bit of a bit of an update video. Pedalbox reached out and sent across one of their Pedalbox Pro units. And this is the update to the original one that we've been running in the D-Max for some time. This is one of the pedal tuners or the, the, the pedal box modules that updates the way that your pedal works. I thought we'd whip this one out, we'd get it installed into the D-Max, we'd check out the app and have a bit of a look-see at all the features it comes with. So without further ado, let's get started. So as far as far as what we get, similar to the original one, we get some stickers, always love a good sticker. Five year warranty on the unit as well, which is pretty good. And, he, and here it is, just like I said in the original one, I think it's pretty cool in the fact that it's very similar to the D-Max trim. These are a little bit different in the way that they connect, mainly because these ones, you don't even need a cable. This one you did, and it connected in to the module that sits underneath there. You can check out how that installed on the previous video. I'll link it in the video description. These guys though, no cable. So the upside with that is you can literally sit it in your, your, you know, your center console, in your glove box. You could totally hide this away and still be able to update all of your pedal settings on the fly. As well as that, we have our module. This is the D-Max specific one. So it is absolutely plug and play. Very similar install to the previous one. As well as that, we've just got some other bits and bobs. We have our little holder here that can be drilled in or double-sided taped just like I've done on the original unit so we can take that one out now because this one will fit in there as well so you can have it in the holder just like that or like I said you can have it stashed away bit of double-sided tape we then have our warranty and instruction booklet here as well. Now from here, the next step is to get this guy all installed or get this guy in this case with the pro version, get this guy all installed. Now I'm not gonna go into crazy detail here. If you wanna see how to install this one in lots more detail, check out the original install video for the original version. It is exactly the same. The main difference is we just have uh, this guy plugging in as the module rather than needing to route all the cables. So super, super easy. So we've got it all installed. It literally takes all of 30 seconds plugging that plug in and out. We've got our new module here and here's our old unit here. So that is gonna get tucked up underneath with the supplied zip ties. We'll just confirm everything is working okay. The next step is to download the app. We can see here's our original one. Here's the pedal box plus. This is now our pedal box pro. So jump into your ecosystem of choice into the, the app store or the play store, download the pedal box app and it'll get you to this point. Now, once you're at this part of the app, there's a couple of things you need to do. So one, we need to get our remote. So we need to wake that up. Just hold the button down the front. You can see there's our light. We then need to hold the plus button down for three seconds until we're flashing away there. We're good to go there. We wanna wake up our little module down the bottom. So just turn it in accessory mode you'll see the light come on underneath here. Once you're there, there we go. Flip that over, get the little code that is on the back. And then from here, it's just a matter of progressing through here. We've got the Pro, we wanna connect. Scanning for the devices, there it is, the P1P. Yeah, cool, so we're still flashing there. We go, okay, standard sort of stuff here. It should come up, here we go. So it's recognizing it, we're trying to pair. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna connect. We go pair, and there we go. Now it's come up for our code, so we'll enter that in. And there we go, we've paired. So we're good to go there. Now we're connecting into the module underneath here. Module successfully connected. And here we go. So this, this is what you'd normally get when you first boot up the app. So from here, I reckon what we might do is we might button up everything else underneath here now that we've confirmed it's working. So we'll tidy up this, put our foot pad and panel and everything all back underneath where it should go. And we might just hit the road a little bit and have a play with some of the new features. Now, just before we take off, one of the things that we need to do, it will work as it is, but the whole idea is that we tune it to your pedal. And that's one of the things I really like about the pedal box in comparison to a lot of the sort of the other clone sort of pedal modules that are out there that just modify the signal. These ones actually modifies it to your actual pedal throw. So it does that through a process called perfect tune. And we're gonna do that now. We need to wake up the remote just a long press on our plus button. We need to not start the car, but we need to get it into accessory mode. So we'll flick that over. That will then attach here and wake up to our module underneath. You can see that we've gone purple here because it's detected it. We should have something similar here on our app in just a second. There we go. So 
we can see we are all connected there and we can cycle through just like the original one. Now to get into our perfect tune mode, we just need to hold down our plus and minus buttons here for about the three seconds. So we'll do that now. And there we go, we can see we're cycling through here now. It's saying we are, we are in tuning mode. Now we wanna slowly press the throttle from neutral to full throttle. So we press it all the way down and release. And we can do that a couple of times and you can see that's me pressing my, my foot down here now on, on, the, on the throttle, on the accelerator. And as I do that, you can see how it is reading that. And you wanna do that a few times so that it gets it all nice and tuned and do it nice and slowly. Once you've done that a few times, we can press the program button, which is the one at the top here. You wanna hold that down for about three seconds and the lights will go off and you are all nice and tuned. Now we've gone for a bit of a cruise around and all the good stuff that existed on the original pedal box still exists here today. So we've got a bunch of predefined modes. So we've got eco mode through to, that's our program mode when we've got a white ring there. City mode, sports mode and sports plus mode, which gives you the ultimate response in the, in the old pedal. Now, of course, as always, you can program these to whatever you wanna do separately there. So you can either do that on the app or on the little fob here itself. Now, some of the new features that I reckon are pretty cool is these ones down the bottom here. Now, we have a learner mode, so we just need to hold that down for a couple of seconds, and then we're in learner mode or, or limit mode. And, and that's effectively what it is. So in this mode, all the way down, you're only at 20% maximum throttle. So it really does dumb down the amount of power that you're gonna get if you're planting your foot. All the way up, and we can accelerate all the way to the maximum. So even at maximum, setting you're only getting 80 percent maximum throttle so that's quite interesting and a cool little feature if you're maybe giving someone some dmax lessons now the other one that i reckon is pretty interesting that the new pro comes with is this immobilizer mode so how you activate that is same sort of story as the learner mode or the limit mode we just press that guy in it turns red we can see it on the remote there as well now what that does is it's another layer of immobilization for your vehicle so what this does is it effectively locks out see how that's now turned off if you take this with you you've got it on your key ring or something like that the same sort of thing applies as the rest of the vehicle immobilization immobilization so it the pedal will not work until either the phone or the little key fob comes back into contact with that module that's down at the accelerator pedal. So we'll, we'll give a little demo. I know we're not, we're not walking away from the car, but if I turn this off, we'll let this disconnect. This has disconnected here on our little fob. We'll wait for this to update here. And there we go. So it's just disconnected. Now, if I connect, we'll do it really quickly um, and I'll start the car. And then I, what I can show you is I'm pressing the pedal down and nothing's happening. We're not accelerating. Now it's just picked up because it's recognized that the phone is here or the key fob is here. Either one will wake it back up. So essentially what you can do is have your car fully immobilized or a second layer of immobilization where the pedal just simply won't work like you just saw in the little demo until either your phone's here to connect up to the module or you wake up your actual key fob. That about sums it up for this one, guys. That is a quick look at the new Pedal Box Pro. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I reckon this is still one of the best ones on the market. It is nice and premium in its look, feel, and the way that it works here, and particularly that you've got the ability to actually tune the module to your individual pedal. These extra new features as well, I reckon they're a pretty handy addition. Thanks very much to the patrons of Video Show Me How. Guys, you are a bunch of legends, as you know. If you're interested in getting involved in supporting me, bring out content just like this for all of you guys, you can head on over there and check out all the details. We do do a giveaway every month or so. So if you're interested, head on over there and check it out. That's all for this one, guys. So as always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.